जय हिंद एवरीवन आई एम प्रगेश मिश्रा सेकेंड ईयर एमबीबीएस स्टूडेंट एट किंग जॉर्जेस मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी लखनऊ एंड वेलकम टू माय चैनल दिस इज द थर्ड वीडियो ऑफ द नीट डिकोड सीरीज इन विच वी विल बी कवरिंग हाउ टू एस योर नीट फिजिक्स एग्जाम आई विल टेल यू माई सीक्रेट एंड माई एक्सपीरियंसिस ऑन हाउ टू फॉर्म अ टाइम टेबल हाउ टू स्टडी फिजिक्स एंड हाउ विच चैप्टर्स टू एम्फेस मोर and how to practice questions each and everything for each and every different type of student right from the start is covered in this video using these techniques i have scored 670 marks in my neat exam out of which 160 out of 180 in my neat physics exam i have also been able to clear kpy scholarship exam using these techniques so hope you would like them and apply them in your preparation to get the desired result watch the video till the end and don't forget to like and subscribe our channel so let's get started so first things first many student have a nightmare for physics they are just afraid of physics and most of this fear is due to their inability to solve maths so if you want to excel in physics eat the frog first first do your basic mathematics and basic vector analysis in a much profound way until you get every nuances of it correct since maths is the language of physics those student who are not really good at maths they tend to fear physics so eat the frog first and get your basic mathematics really really competent you should be very good at basic differentiation integration trigonometry calculus and vector analysis once you get these things done you will not face any problem in the further chapters regarding any derivations or any different type of questions that are asked in the neat exam the third part is note making note making is very important for your neat preparation but many students shy away from note making but i am saying you that note making is very essential and very helpful especially for your revision part when you have a test to give and when you are revising for the final neat exam you will be highly dependent on your notes you cannot study the books you cannot study all these things all these questions so you have to rely on your notes so make your own notes please make your own notes do not try to own the pre made notes try to make your own notes and that in the classroom itself when the teacher gives you a question try to solve that question in the classroom itself in the stipulated time given and if you get a question wrong or you get a silly mistake then cross the question there only and uh, after seeing the solution and getting some help try to solve it again on the fresh page so that when you will be revising you will be getting that okay this is the question where i did wrong and this is the point where i did wrong so you cannot make the same mistake again So the next segment is derivation. Derivation is very important in the NEET physics preparation. Many students do not try to learn the derivation; they just directly go for the formulas. But if you know the derivation, if you know how to derive a result from a given set of equations, so you will retain those concepts for a very long time. And even if you forget the formula, you can always uh, get those formula done with your derivation part. For example, when you remember. how to derive the formula for the electric potential at some distance from the charge if you remember how to derive it then you can derive other formulas for other scenarios also so it will be very helpful to derive new formulas and new type of questions and it also help to clear your concepts very much and you can also counter new type of question that you have not done if you know the derivation part okay let's face it NEET is a competitive exam in which you are given only a stipulated amount of time to complete all your question. So you cannot go with NEET only with practicing question and clearing concept. You have to memorize many things also. So to save your time, try to memorize all those constant values because they are generally not given in the paper. Try to remember various results like that in the atomic physics. Try to remember the energies. the next part of your neat preparation is question practice and giving test so in neat question practice is very very important you have to solve questions daily use your dpps or any other material and solve them daily also the materials that you are solving should be to the point not very high level questions like that are asked in the j advance okay so keep your materials to the point and at least you have to solve 200 to 300 different type of questions and try to use some different different resources for those those 200 to 300 types of question so study first your notes then go for the previous 10 year question paper they are very important and then uh, try to solve any ncert based book like that of mtg or dc pandey 
and after you have done all these things then you have to give your test okay testing is very important you have to give the test regularly never skip your test okay and even if you are not fully prepared give your test very sincerely and after you give the test you should analyze where you made the mistake and write all those mistake in a mistake book and once you are done with all your physics preparation then the mistake book is your golden book cause it will help you lot in the in the final lap of the preparation ncrts are very underrated but very potent resource when it comes to neat physics preparation many student try to ignore ncrt but i tell you ncrt is a very good resource to up level your marks in neat cause uh, you have to study only few chapters thoroughly from the ncrt like electricity magnetism thermodynamics modern physics and unit and dimensions you have to solve all the examples that are given in these chapters you also need to remember the various graphs and tables and data that are given in these chapters cause they are directly asked in exams also and many questions that are given in ncrt have directly been asked in previous papers so you cannot ignore the ncrt physics especially in these chapters and if you have time you can do other chapters as well so what to do when you are not feeling confident in physics when you are seeing that your batchmates are scoring much more marks but you are not able to solve very basic problems also so listen me confidence comes from mastery and mastery comes from repetition this is a simple fact that when you do things uh, repeatedly it always gets better so in neat physics the questions are not very high level aptitude wise they are simple question they are concept based question and they are Uh, really based on the previous year question pattern so they are not very different type of question or very high level of question so do not get bothered about this you should just clear your concept okay you should focus on your basic subjects like basic mathematics and you have to repeat repeat things you have to revise a lot you should use space repetition like you are learning something today then learn it tomorrow then after 3 days then 7 then 16 then after 1 month and then when you revise it after 6 months you will be never forgetting these things for your life so use this space repetition for your revision and follow your notes and follow the same resources uh, try to solve the same resources 2 3 5 times until you get the confidence in physics okay let's get to the favorite segment do's and don'ts these are the thing that you have to keep in mind while preparing for neat the first habit that you need to develop is to solve the question until you get to the final answer do not leave the question on the half way because you know the concept and you know how the question will be solved okay solve the question and get the answer done and all calculation yourself do not use a calculator because you will not get a calculator in neat and the calculation part is very important cause if you are very good at calculation you will save a lot of time in the neat exam the second habit you need to develop is to study all the chapters okay you have to study all the chapters do not leave any chapter thinking that it is not important or it is very hard okay if you are feeling that some chapter is hard like rotation is very hard okay you give it another try you give two three tries and you have to at least know the basic of all the chapters if you cannot do advanced level question it is okay but you have to know the basic of all the chapters and do not ignore the chapters because it is uh, not asked in the previous year it may be asked in this year like you can get easy marks by studying chapters like magnetism and matter and electromagnetic waves cause very basic questions are asked from these chapters and student generally ignore these chapters okay so study all the chapters that are given in the book okay. now the third point is that you have to remove various distraction that are not helping you in neat preparation uh, do not try to look for motivation contents in various sandeep maheshwari videos too much do not try to discover a very motivating reel okay try to limit your social media uses and try to restrict them as much as possible if you are in a relationship then talk with each other and make sure that your relationship does not hinder you from giving your 100% in the exam and if you are planning to get into relationship i will say that you will get ample time and opportunity in medical college for your relationship so please use this time for your need preparation uh, as you know that physics is a time consuming subject 
so you have to divide your time in your preparation at least you need to study 6 to 10 hours including your uh, classroom okay so if you're for example you are studying 4 to 5 hours on your own so uh, the ratio should be 4 3 2 4 should be physics 3 should be chemistry and 2 should be biology so like that you have to study daily and you have to give more important to physics at the first because once you are giving more time to physics in the starting then it will require very less time during the revision so that you can revise more of the biology and chemistry part you will be very familiar with the concepts of physics so so you will not need to revise uh, physics as much as you need to revise the biology and chemistry so it will save your time in the long run so at the start give more time to physics and give more time to building the concepts of physics the fourth point is super important you should prioritize your mental health and you should not try to bother too much about the preparation and your need journey see try to look sometimes at the bigger picture once you enter the medical college you will not remember the even your marks of the NEET exam. Like Jitu Bhaiya said in Kota Factory, don't study physics because physics is important. Study physics because physics is tough. And tough battle is confidence. And confidence is what you need in life. So don't waste your time in the NEET exam. Don't waste your time in the NEET exam. And confidence is what you need in life. And also in the NEET exam. So try to fall in love in physics. Okay? Try to understand those concepts. And try to uh, try to learn about various discoveries and various scientists like Einstein. Try to uh, learn something extracurricular. Try to read the points to ponder in the NCRT and try to ponder over these things. Okay, uh, in in this competitive environment and all those coaching centers and institutes, and uh, they are trying to sell you those DPPs, those questions, those tests. Okay, will always fall short in these, but. Once you are in love with physics, once you are in love with the concepts of physics and once uh, you really love doing problems in physics, then you will not find it a very cumbersome task to score good in physics exam and to solve lots of physics questions. Uh, the second thing, a mistake I did, because uh, I was in a local coaching institute in Varanasi and, uh, and physics part is very highly overrated in many coaching institutes. Cause they try to level it up to the J advanced level but the neat physics paper is different from J paper it is not very aptitude based so you have to be familiarized with the neat physics paper pattern you should uh, try to look at the previous 10 year papers so that you get a uh, so that you get an orientation about the paper pattern and can plan your journey ahead and the last point that is most important in the preparation is support your friends and your families Okay, it is super important in your need preparation. Uh, I was fortunate to get good friends uh, who always motivated me and who always helped me in every situation. And I was always fortunate to have my parents support in every walk of my life. So uh, get your good friends, get in company. Okay, do not lose your mental strength. Okay, be perseverance because need is a long journey and you cannot fight it alone. Okay, make good friends who are good in studies, who are motivating everyone. बहुत ज़्यादा मस्ती करने की ज़रूरत नहीं है. Once you get into, uh, once you get into the medical college, you will get multiple opportunities to do whatever you want in your life. You can practice any hobbies and you can do anything you want practically in medical college. So I hope you like this video and I hope that you will follow at least some points of this in your need preparation journey share it with your friends and families so that every student who is not getting a proper direction for need can get a proper direction and excel in his or her need exam thank you everyone